northern Ethiopia, 25 kilometers from the border of Eritrea, and look at this amazing spot of a starting to become active sulfuric area, and I'm smelling what smells like 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 sulfur right now. I'm if I touch it, it'll burn me, and I'll have to get severe medical attention. So this is the lake, an oil lake, I guess they call it, and um, in the middle of the Dalla Depression in Eri uh, near the border of Eritrea in Ethiopia. Oh wow, that's our guide. What are you doing with that? Just taking this to like the local people use it for free medication, you know? Really? Is it good? It's good for you? Really? Yeah, it just smell like something. No sulfur on you. What is it? What's in it? So, you know, in total, uh, there is 9 billion potassium around here in the desert, right? Can we can touch it? Yes. Oh, it's hot. It's like oil. Oil? Oh my gosh! What is this from? What, what's in it? Uh, so this is a mixture of salt and potassium. Like it has 80% potassium and 20% salt. So there is no doctor at the place that we had that you had breakfast guys and the place that we spend the night. So the local people use it for skin medication. If they have fungus or cat or something like that. Can we can put it on our skin? Yeah, it's like a little bit... It will hurt you for a time being, but it's... Nice medicine. I know sometimes you can see like a lot of people coming from every corner of Turkey and then taking uh, from here. But uh, you know, this is only that they have in the local people. So uh, the people taking from here need to pay a lot of money for the local. Uh, to, to take some. Yeah. Take really, they can. So for example, I will take full bottle because a lot of people are asking me all the time to take from here to Nekele. Yeah. And so How much do you charge them for the bottle? But Okay, like sometimes they, charge, they just uh, charge a lot, like 150 per uh, this bottle. 150 per? Yeah, but me, I will pay 50 per because they are like, very close to me. I'm just here all the time. So. And this is really good stuff. Yeah, and then you sell it in Macau for a lot. <laughs>
So this is a bubbling oil lake right now, filled with potassium and salt. And this is in the Dowell Depression. So it is bubbling because of the chemical reaction between potassium and salt. Oh, bubbling because of the chemistry between potassium and salt. And this special oil they use on the skin only? Yeah. So, this is how they are, how they are working on the potassium, how they are living on the Okay, for us, we are not really professional, so it's like a little bit beyond our capacity. So, but for them, they are very professional, and then they dig the whole day, like starting from the early morning at 5 up to 6 evening. Don't forget that this is the hottest place on earth, but whatever the temperature, they are just digging the whole day. That's why they have second name, it's called survivors. The upper people are survivors, because there is no water for drinking here. So they stay, they drink once before they start coming here, and then if they drink once, they can stay the whole day without drinking water. Oh and then even they cannot get food in an easy way. So what they do is, they, they just simply, uh, sometimes they make a shelter, and then uh, they just boil their coffee and the tea. Do they get any of the money from like the tourists that come? That sometimes when we come, not really giving money, but we just distribute... Uh, yeah, like a part of the tea. Yeah, like we just distribute food or maybe water for drinking and something, but not all the time. 